I'm Supervisor Pat Herity. I'm here to talk to you about an important topic today, public sector collective bargaining. While most of us were struggling to get through the pandemic, under one party rule in Richmond, the Democrats passed legislation that allows for local governments to enter into collective bargaining agreements with our employees. Unions are trying to consolidate their power to the detriment of our employees and our taxpayers. I strongly encourage you to testify before the board on October 5th. While the unions have had the opportunity to participate in the development of this ordinance, so far the employees at large and our residents have been left out of the process. If this ordinance passes, it's going to have a negative impact on our residents in, uh, in a lot of ways, but let me give you three real quick. On the first point, you're going to see your taxes increase. We've already approved $3 million just to cover the administrative costs, not to mention the impact of the overly broad agreement that we are developing. This agreement's going to include everything from work rules to discipline, to pay, to benefits, to retirement. Not only is this public sector collective bargaining ordinance bad for taxpayers and residents, I believe it's bad for our employees as well. It is being drafted by a union whose leadership has not, is not currently and has not been Fairfax County employees. It will eliminate organizations like the National Hispanic Firefighters and the Employee Advisory Committee that have been very useful organizations in communicating and working with employees by eliminating their ability to collect dues through payroll deduction. So this is bad for our employees as well. So second, this ordinance is going to reduce the quality of services that the county offers and our flexibility to provide services. If you take the recent pandemic, we were able to direct our employees to move about in the county as we needed them to move about to respond to the pandemic. This collective bargaining ordinance and the collective bargaining agreement that results from it will tie our hands and our ability to be flexible. In other localities across the country, it has meant that some jurisdictions have been unable to get rid of ineffective teachers and police officers. You know I'm a big supporter of both our teachers and our police officers, but the county needs to have the flexibility and the discipline processes to, to make sure that we get rid of bad employees. This will tie our hands and reduce the quality and flexibility of our services. Third, this ordinance will devalue the power of your representation and the democratic process here in Fairfax County. It introduces an unavoidable conflict of interest for your representatives. The current members of the Fairfax County Board of Supervisors have received around a half a million dollars from unions. Every member has received contributions except this one from the SEIU, the primary drafters of this ordinance. This is not good for democracy in Fairfax County. Nationally, states and localities that have passed these kind of broad collective bargaining ordinances have been trying to get out of them. In Wisconsin alone, they saved $2 billion by eliminating and changing their public sector collective bargaining. It is going to have a significant fiscal impact on the county. So far, the national unions have been the only people with a seat at the table in drafting this ordinance. Residents, taxpayers, and largely employees have been left out of the process. Your chance to change that is on October 5th. We have the chance to stop this before we start it. That's why testifying on October 5th is so important. I strongly encourage you to come testify on the public sector collective bargaining ordinance on October 5th. Testifying has been made easy by the pandemic. You can submit a video, you can call in the night of the public hearing, or you can come in person and testify. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you.